what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel first of all let's talk about something um i got a haircut um as you can see i cut off quite a few inches of my hair and I'll tell you why. Number one, I know in the summertime I'm gonna be wearing my hair curly a lot. And as you can tell some from some of my previous videos, I just had like these really, really dead looking curls that were just hanging on by life and I was just tired of looking at it. So I went to go see somebody who is local to my town. Um, the salon strictly deals with curly hair. So I just let them do what they thought was best and that was starting off with a really good clean cut. And so that's what I did. It's far from perfect. It's not like, you know, 100% where I want it to be, but it is a good start because I have a hard time with shears and change when it comes to my own hair. And I know that sounds crazy being that, you know, I'm a hairstylist, but once I find something that I really, really love, I kind of stick to it, be it my hairstyle, haircut, whatever. I kind of always go back to the same things, but I wanted to do something different. So if you like it, please make me feel better about it because I am really second guessing myself right now. But whatever, it's hair, it grows back. It's a good healthy start. So I'm babbling anyways. We are here for my May favorites. Now last month I did not do a favorites video mainly because I was trying out so many new products that I got in April, my birthday month. So I kind of skipped over doing a favorites because I knew I was going to be trying a lot of things, you know, over the following weeks. And then things just got busy in my life. This past month, I didn't put up a whole lot of videos. Um, my skin was acting a mess. My hair was not the way I was feeling it. Like, you know, there were a lot of factors into me just not making a lot of videos. Get into the favorites. First of all, I told you guys that I was having some skin issues. Number one, I believe I hauled the um, the NARS Luminous, I don't know, I'm gonna list it somewhere in here, but the brand new foundation that they came out with earlier this year, it broke me the hell out. And I don't know what's in it, but when I went into my Sephora to to take it back because I'm like, I'm not gonna keep on going through this. Like when I say my skin was the worst, the worst it's ever been, like I've never ever experienced anything like that before. Like my skin was breaking out in areas that it normally doesn't, like it was just bad. So when I brought it back, I was talking to the girl and I'm like, yeah, like the first time I tried it, I kind of had like, you know, a small breakout, didn't think of anything of it. And then the next time I wore it for a full day, and my skin went haywire and she was like it's so crazy but i had the same experience so it was good to hear that somebody else experienced the same thing but i was sad about it because i really wanted to like it because it was really really lightweight it was nice but anyways i ended up just like taking a break from you know makeup as much as i usually wear it and something that I went back to and I say I've been saying that I've been wanting to like you know incorporate more organic skincare and body products and everything like that but every time I'm having like really really bad skin this boy right here gets me clear every single time and this is the Biore pore unclogging scrub it exfoliates it refines and it has um, 2 percent salicylic acid every single time like never fail and my skin is far from perfect now but every single time this guy comes to my rescue and i use this with i like i I'll, I'll go back and forth like i'll go with my clarisonic and i'll go without my clarisonic either way it's fantastic love this stuff ride or die no matter what so this has definitely been <laughs> my bae thing and speaking of skin when I took back the the NARS, blah, 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 whatever it's called, um, I went on ahead and exchanged it for the NARS Sheer Glow because I have tried this in a sample before. I did not buy it before, but I tried it in a sample. Love the coverage, love the the shade, the shade range. Like everything is like real yellow and undertone, and that's not the case in all foundations. So I picked this up, and I have been loving 
this. The one thing that I don't enjoy about this is the fact that it doesn't have a pump, but I'm wearing it on my skin today. It gives me a real nice flawless look and I, I go like, you know, back and forth with how I use it because I want this to stretch. I want this to last. So some days I'll just use it real lightly. I blend it out with my beauty blender, which was the case today. And I just love it either way. Like even when I'm going ham, ham and cheese. Yep. Yeah, I'll go on ahead and get a darker shade for the summer too, because I feel like this is going to be too light for me in the summer. So good segue. Summertime. Mama needs a tan bad like my upper body is on point strong strong tan game going you know yeah but my legs every time every year my legs are like the last to get tan so airbrush legs sally hansen i have the shade deep right now this is way too dark this is more so when i already have a tan i need to get a lighter shade but what i do now is i'll mix this with you know whatever whatever lotion that i use just so it's a little bit you know more sheer it's not so dark and stark up against my white ass but i love this stuff like this stuff it says it's waterproof and it is well it says it's water resistant but I would say it's waterproof. Like the only way that I'm getting this off of me at the end of the night is if I'm using soap and water. Like I've slept in this before and I don't have white sheets, but like even with the, sh the sheet colors that I have, like it doesn't rub off all over everything. Like, you know, only when you have something really, really tight and restricting on your legs directly is the only time that you'll get like, you know, maybe a little bit of smudging. But for the most part, this stuff don't budge and it's like maybe $15 and I've had this for close to I think I bought this bottle specifically like around the time I was getting married which was almost two years ago so and I still have a good amount in here so you'll have this stuff for a really long time it's a good price I'm sure you can find coupons I'm sure you can you know find some sales whatever but love this stuff what the heck is shimmering skin perfector pressed in blushed copper now i use like right now i'm a little too light to use this as like a highlighter or anything and i'm opening it the wrong way but right now i've been using it as just like a blush girl slapping like i love this stuff as a blush because not every single day like especially in the summertime if it's sunny out like i don't want pink or like even a coral like I want to be shining on you girls like this stuff right here it's just perfect like let me give you a little swatch it's just and I use it very very lightly as you can see that is super uber duper pigmented so a little bit goes a very very long way um and yeah I've just been loving it um, I was unsure of when I first got this and this is the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder and this is in number one I believe they have two shades they have number one and number two I believe number two has more reflective qualities to it but it's just a translucent white powder and this does have like slight illuminating qualities to it like the first few times I used it I feel like I'm talking real fast the first few times that I used it, I believed that I was just using way, way too much because it was a lot of uh, white cast going on. But I, I figured out different ways to use it. So um, I, I, most of the time I use it with my, um, my Real Techniques uh, setting brush. And then I'll go over top of it with like a yellow or like a skin tone powder. And this has been getting my under eye life like my under eyes do not crease at all it brightens like it says it does but i always suggest maybe using some kind of a skin tone or some kind of color powder over top right. so next thing here i have is the color pop super shock shadow and kathleen lights and this specific one only comes in the where the light is This specific shadow only comes in the Where the Light Is for some, and this is curated by Kathleen Lights, um, hence the name. But it is a warm, coppery, like orangey, shimmery shade. And I use this when I am going for like an all over shadow look. I will just use my finger all over the, all over the lid with maybe just a little bit of something else in the crease you want to say hi hi 
Give me a kiss. Yeah. All right, let's go and play with the tablet. A little bit of something to increase, just to give it like a nice blown out effect. But this is for days that I don't feel like doing like a heavy eye look, don't want to spend the time doing liner and everything like that. Use this, like I said, something in the crease, mascara, face makeup, and go. So yeah, been loving that. So shout out to Kathleen Lights for that. Um, and the next thing is my artist palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe I have spoke to you guys before. Well, I know that I spoke to you guys before about this because I made a video about it. It was a get ready with me. Check that out. But um, I haven't really tried out too many of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. But since getting this, I did pick up the contour kit and I am in love with her stuff and I, I plan on picking up much, much more. But I did create the look that I have going on today with this palette. Um, I actually have buttery on my brow bone. I have orange you, fan, orange you fancy all over the lid and aubergine, aubergine, I don't know how to say it, and on the outer corner and like smudged out on my lower lash line. But all of these are just so pigmented and just buttery, not too much fallout, like just great. And the other perk is like I haven't tried this brush too much or this side of the brush too much but this guy here is a wonderful blending brush and I know that I will be getting much much use out of it so yeah if you are still able to get this if it's not sold out because I do believe it is limited edition just know that each one of their shadows you can buy individually but this is just a great great buy Hi. lastly I have here that I've already swatched on my hand are the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pig Pigment Glosses. And the first color that I'm actually wearing on my lips now is Fleur, which is like a nudie peach type color. And then the second color that I've been wearing the heck out of is Stunner. And that's what it looks like there. Um, if you do, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, make sure that you do. I believe the name is Color Me Ash, and I'll have it listed somewhere so you can go on ahead and give that girl a follow. But I've been wearing the living crap out of this. Like on the days that you know I'm keeping it low key with the makeup, this boy right here. Now, what I will say about these, it it does dry down to a matte finish, which I love, but. I think a lot of people mistake that as being like a liquid lipstick like it's not going to go anywhere. It definitely goes, it wanders a little bit like if you eat or if you're drinking you know even when I'm drinking out of the straw I can notice that you know sometimes it kind of moves around. So you do have to reapply but it doesn't look bad when you reapply without like you know wiping everything off which is why I do like these. And where I found them were in like, you know, my local beauty supply, you know, where they, you know, sell a lot of weaves and wigs and, you know, black hair products and whatnot. That's where I found these. And I believe I paid um, $3.99 each. I got three colors. Now the other color that I got, which I will show you guys, was um, Fantasy. And I didn't love this one as much, mainly because it went on really really patchy and like chalky like like you can't tell just from like the swatch here but like when I was applying it on my lips it just didn't look good and I don't know if it was because I didn't line my lips first or what it was that I just didn't like this color as much but like I said the other two amazing a plus love them to death um, now I said I think I said that was it but I was lying the last thing microfiber towel now there has been so much hype and rage behind the makeup eraser which is a $20 towel which is not even as big as this this I actually buy at the supply store of which I buy all of like my supplies for my salon but um, $20 for six towels versus $20 for one towel 
does the same exact thing like you know before I even heard of the makeup eraser I used these for my hair and for my face as well just something a bit more gentler to you know work around my eyes and to you know dry off my hair but um this stuff gets all of my all of my mascara off which is usually the number one thing that I have the hardest time getting rid of but get you some of these girls stop don't even don't even do the makeup eraser I'm not hating on them I'm sure it is great but save yourself some money get a microfiber towel love this stuff so like I said with my summer schedule I hope to do at least two videos a week if I don't do that don't hold it against me just understand that I am a mother first and I just am doing what I have to do for the summertime because I have my kids here with me now so yeah if you guys want to see more from me make sure that you subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you love watching current favorite videos which I do love watching um, and it gives me a shopping list idea can you stop I have my child here right now can you tell <laughs> anyways thank you guys again for watching I'll see you later Bye.